Oh, Anya, she's misunderstood. But at least Becky doesn't see her as a bad person. This following video contains spoilers that might upset you if you haven't watched the series. It is advised to avoid this video for your protection of not being spoiled. But also do know that I most certainly do love the anime series, and the characters but sometimes life can be boring at times, so it's best to be a bit cringy at times. So, yeah. Anya's mission is to apologize to Damien, and she's trying, but her friend Becky pulls her away from every chance she has to apologize to Damien. That's a good friend right there. Anya is having a hard time with what people are saying to her, teachers ignoring her, believing she's delinquent, and her dad showing her signs to apologize. Lloyd is disturbed when someone does this to his food. But he's perfectly fine doing this to Anya's food? This poor girl. I would be disturbed by this too. The only person she could trust right now is Becky, who will have her back. But she now has to go somewhere due to the school's announcement system asking her to go to the student hall. Anya goes on to apologize to Damien as she cries, only because she can read Damien's friend's mind about her having stubby legs and that she has a raccoon face. Honestly, no matter what elementary you're in, there's always going to be kids who are just brutally honest or being really cruel. Anya's apology has been rejected, all because of Damien's pride. Lloyd's plan A is a failure since it won't be easy to make Anya an imperial scholar. And his plan B is also a failure since Damien has no intention to be good friends with Anya. So Lloyd decides to go back to his plan A and this isn't healthy because Anya has been through enough for today. Because she's been through this and that and to top it all off, you have to give her a math problem. And she isn't allowed to watch her show without giving the right answer. I'd be running in my room too. Yor talks to Lloyd about her brother and how each time he taught her something, he enjoyed it. And this made Lloyd realize that he needed to work better in becoming a better father to Anya. He goes to tell Anya that she could watch her show, but she fell asleep studying and he decided to record her show for her. No parents could be perfect, but they try to be for their kids. Dominic congratulates Yuri for his sister's marriage. But I think Yuri has destroyed whoever his brother-in-law is since he's worried he might be deceiving his sister. Yuri works for foreign affairs, but he really works for the state security service, aka SSS. Also, his sister doesn't know that he works for the state security service. A math teacher calls out to Anya to answer a math question. She's prepared to answer it confidently. After all, she was studying math like crazy that night and she said it's three thirds. But it's wrong. It's okay, Anya. You'll, you'll get it at some point. Do I know the answer? <laughs> Moving on, Lloyd met up with Handler. And she asks if they can expect Anya's grades to improve and hope she can have eight Stella stars in four months. Lloyd said it will not be a problem. <laughs> but the Handler is unimpressed by his feeble attempt to lie. She warns Lloyd to be careful since one of their informants at City Hall has been arrested, which happens to be working in the same place as Yor is working at. But he works as a financial department. He's been using the money he earned to engage in his affairs, despite the fact that he's already married. Yuri seems nice and loves to protect the country and his sister, but he can be ruthless when necessary. Why is this a kid show? I think this is weird, but she actually could do her math correctly if you involve Bond Man or Spy Wars into the question. Yor comes home anxious about her brother Yuri who will come over to congratulate her on her marriage. It's all good because Lloyd has anticipated his visit and has prepared a romantic atmosphere. That's a little cringe. But hey, I'm not complaining since my videos are pretty much cringe. Also. It got to the point where Anya said they're flirting, and they are in denial. Again, she doesn't need to read their mind that they are flirty. Anya is wanting to meet her uncle, but she got tired since it passed her bedtime. So, night night to Anya, I guess. Yuri has a large bouquet of roses for his sister and skipping down the street. I'm thinking about getting a hug from his sister. But a memory of Rip Cracking Hug gives him a pause. He's a bit suspicious of who she married since she never told him that she's been married a whole year. So, his lieutenant instincts are on high alert. Just in case yours husband is a threat to your. <laughs> 
A television plays a footage of Minister from Ostania and Westalia talking over normalizing relations between their country as Lloyd and Yuki shakes hands. And Lloyd is hoping he's not endangering his mission for the family he built. And Yuri is hoping he didn't take advantage of his sister, otherwise he might eliminate him. Before Yuri's arrival, Lloyd suggests telling him the truth about their marriage to avoid suspicion. But Yuri is concerned that Yuri's sensitive demeanor nature wouldn't be able to handle it knowing that she married without love. She also claims to have the perfect excuse to tell him. Look, I just forgot, okay? <laughs> what? That's how I'm feeling, Louis. Yuri asked why she didn't mention it earlier when he called her the other time about her partner. Because I forgot that I had forgotten to tell you that I'd gotten married. Okay, I guess this mission is over. Well, it would have if Yuri's sense of logic didn't go out the window. Okay, well, Lloyd brings over the food, but Yuri won't be easily swayed by his food and his ultimate motive is to get Lloyd drunk and to expose who he really is. Yuri asked how they met, and Lloyd said they met at the boutique and hit it off after a few dinner dates. Yuri presses Lloyd more details about their relationship. It's starting to feel like he's being interrogated. However, these questions asking are starting to annoy him since he believes his sister is giving his husband some endearing nicknames. Lloyd brings him some water and he can see all of Lloyd's good points, which irritates him even more, and he starts to drink more wine. Lloyd takes advantage of this as Yuri talks about getting this wine at a cafe in Obda and ask about the cost for the wine, which was $200. Lloyd now knows he's an intelligent agent. Yuri is still in doubt of their marriage, as he has flashbacks of how hard Yor worked for them when both their parents were gone, and now he wants to do everything for Yor and protect her. He asks if Lloyd understands how it feels to have the most important person in your world to be taken away by some stranger he didn't know about until now. Yuri has always wanted his sister to get married and be happy as long as that someone is more capable of protecting her than him. And he asks if he can do that. Lloyd states that he loves Yuri as much as Yuri does and his daughter Anya also loves her. Yuri calls him a liar as he spilled some water on the table. And... <laughs> that... that uh, that's awkward. I mean, anyone would start questioning their marriage after pulling their hands away like that. These couples are now to prove their love, and Yor has to drink some wine before taking action. And now it's getting steamy, but Yori doesn't want to see their lovey-dovey moment. And luckily, Yori cuts in between them since that would have been Lloyd, who would have been slapped hard in the face. Poor guy. Anyways, Lloyd is nice to the both of them and admires how they care for each other. He assures Yuri that he will do everything he can to support Yor and he goes home afterwards. But he said to Lloyd that he will come back to prove that he tricked Yor into this marriage and warns him that if he makes Yor cry, he will have him executed. But he doesn't finish saying the execution part since he doesn't want to reveal who he really is since he didn't really tell his sister what he is. Lloyd checks around the apartment to make sure that Yori didn't plant any listening devices, but that's only because he forgot to do that. Lloyd is concerned that he might be executed if this mission is over though. Anya wakes up the next day reading Lloyd's mind about her uncle who is a secret police. And she's upset with her father as to why he didn't wake her up to see her uncle, since it seemed like something exciting happened that night while she was asleep. Lloyd is more concerned for his own safety than with Anya's temper about not meeting with her uncle Yuri. Because Yuri's brother is a secret police, and though wise reports found nothing suspicious of Yor, he decided to remain cautious. Anya tries to say that mom isn't the enemy, but she said she's bad at cooking, which makes Yor apologetic, saying she tried her best. Lloyd leans in towards Yor brushing off some gunk on her neck, when really we all know that he was just trying to plant a bug on her coat. Now, Yor is feeling like she's been failing in her abilities as a mother and as a wife. Anya just tells her parents to get along, and Lloyd tells her to get along with her classmates, which annoys Anya since her main mission is to get along with 
Damien, one of her worst enemies. Yor talks to her co-workers about her relationship with Lloyd, unaware that he is listening in with a listening device. He has discovered that she's never been with another man other than him, and Anya's words about her cooking can cut pretty deep for Yor to be so down. Lloyd knows that Yor is working hard to be a good wife and mother for the sake of this pretend family but he suspects that she's trying to deceive him. Yor's co-workers are not really helpful in supporting her and her marriage. The section chief interrupts their discussion and tells them to get back to work and he asks Yor if she can run this letter down to the post office, which she does. Lloyd takes this opportunity to take matters into his own hands by disguising himself as a secret police to question Yor, along with Frankie, who is also disguised as a secret police, and accused her of working with the spies. And Lloyd said if she has an SS family member, then they would let her go. He says this, suspecting that she might know that her brother is an SSS family member. But Yor said that she works hard for her country every day and would never participate in this matter. Frankie in disguise tells her not to play dumb with them. But I think she's quite serious in what she's saying and she will show no mercy to those who hurt her family. Lloyd now knows she's telling the truth as he tells Frankie to decipher the code again. And he said it's not the raccoon cipher, but the caterpillar cipher. Don't ask me what this cipher is all about, because the only thing I know is that this is a raccoon and that this is a caterpillar, and that's all you're getting from me. Because the only one who will understand this is the author himself. Lloyd is feeling a bit guilty for being suspicious of Yor, and Frankie warned him to keep his emotions out of this if he values his life, which annoys Lloyd into ripping off Frankie's disguise. Frankie wanted to go on some dates with that face of his, and Lloyd said he shouldn't deceive women like that. But Frankie doesn't want to hear it from him for what he did today. Yor is getting all depressed about her role as a mother and as a wife, especially since Lloyd took some gunk off her collar since she can't even keep her clothes clean. But again, it's really Lloyd trying to get rid of the bug he planted on her. Lloyd says some encouraging words to Yor and tells her to be herself which made Yor happy to marry Lloyd. Lloyd said that they should get some cake to celebrate their first anniversary, and she agrees to this. Anya comes back, and she's happy to know her parents are getting along, because they just bought some cake. <sighs> a beautiful day, and it would be wonderful if it was elegant every day. But when you have two troublesome kids along with their friends learning their influence, it could be a problem. Oh, poor Damien. All alone in the world. Well, not entirely since he has his friends. His brother is well known for his accomplishments. Damien wants those achievements as well, so he wouldn't feel so lonely in school. And he could have that opportunity by playing dodgeball. That will be in a week. Anya tells her father that she has a chance to earn a Stella Star in PE. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lloyd doubts this. However, Yor is determined to help Anya be skilled in dodgeball. And she is going to teach her a killer move that will defeat an enemy in dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty killer move roll, right? Today is here and Anya is ready as well, as Damien who worked hard for this day along with his friends. They went through a lot of hardcore training to defeat the enemies, and Anya also went through training in a different method with her mom. Uh, whoa, <laughs> wow. I think they're all losing because this guy has been trained by his father who is in the Astania army. You see? You see? Oh, oh, Anya is skilled in dodging the ball. Oh, not the face. <gasps> Damien blocks the attack that was aiming for Anya, and Anya is going to get revenge for Damien's death. But, uh, <laughs> well, I guess that's that. Just when I thought Damien and Anya would get along, but they're at each other's neck. And poor Mr. Henderson will have to figure out a way for Damien and Anya to get along if he ever wants an elegant day at the academy. So about your grades. Uh, Lloyd, she's busy at the moment watching Spy Wars. Run for your life, Anya! Well, she's definitely no runner. 
Anya's now studying, and she has a plan on succeeding her test, and that's by reading other students' minds. Lloyd considers having her grades change in the school records, but that would be suspicious if she didn't have real improvement, and believe her classmates will resent her for her unearned accomplishments, which made Anya realize what she is doing is wrong. And Lloyd believes she's getting depressed because he's too strict with her, so he tries to see if she's good in some other areas such as drawing, music, and then sports. I think we've accomplished that she isn't good at sports. Not unless they have a punching class. Lloyd is worried about Anya getting 8 Stella Stars in 4 months since it's a major part of the mission and Anya says she will work hard. Lloyd has an idea of a way for her to get a Stella Star and he decides to take her to his job tomorrow to do a community service at the hospital. But uh, they are excused from the service. Lloyd tries to figure out other ways for Anya to earn some Stella Stars and Anya hears a kid named Ken call out for help since he's unable to swim. And Anya can't reveal her identity, so she says she's going to go swimming and rushes over there to save her. But she is also unable to swim. Luckily, her father followed her and saved them both. The next day, Anya received a Stella Star, which upsets Damien. But who cares what he has to think when you have a good friend like Becky congratulating you for getting your first Stella Star. Anya goes home as Ken's parents thanked her and Lloyd for rescuing him. Okay. Okay. Before I go any further, let me just say, I get that people are rooting for them to get together, but when they're older, obviously. But I think it would be funny if Ken was the rivalry for Damien into winning Anya's heart. Because I know Anya and Damien aren't really friendly towards each other, but I think Damien would try to change that part when he sees Anya and Ken getting along. Also, I think it's possible. I mean, this side character does have a name, right? Anyways, back to the series. Anya's parents are proud of her. Yor decides to make some dinner for Anya to congratulate her first Stella Star. But she prefers if Lloyd makes it. I can't argue with that. Sorry, Yor. Lloyd and... Sylvia meet to discuss Anya's stellar star. They both ponder their next move and agree to act quickly to get Anya more stars since Donovan's recent financial activity is concerning. As that is happening, Anya is, well, a bit too proud in wearing her one stellar star that it has gone to her head a bit. She even went as far as to tell her friend Becky to call her Starlight Anya. Becky said to Anya that she can easily make over a hundred friends in a day. And Anya starts to think about being friends with Damien and that her father would praise her for completing the mission. But Damien warns her not to get too full of herself. People in class insult Anya for getting a Stella star and this made Anya feel a bit uneasy. However, that changes, thanks to Damien telling the girls that Eden Academy doesn't pass out stars without merit. He swore that he wouldn't be defeated by Anya and that he will become a scholar before she does. At lunch, Becky tells Anya that she should get a reward from her parents for getting a Stella Star. Anya said she wants peanuts, but Becky pushes her to think bigger, and Anya decides on a castle. Okay, well, Becky helps her since she's thinking too little and too big, so she suggests something like a dog. Becky has a Yorkshire Terrier, and the dog's name is Weasel. Hmm. Anya asks if Damien has a dog, and he doesn't reply, so she reads his mind. And she sees that he has a German Shepherd that's named Max. Anya starts to envision herself getting a dog and telling Damien that she wants to compare her dog and his dog by going to his place. Anya can see this being an opportunity for her father to ask Donovan to end the war, and this would bring peace to the world. Anya arrives back home. She tells her parents that she wants a dog. Or is a bit worried, especially if that dog accidentally kills Anya. But Lloyd thinks it will be a good idea if they get a guard dog. Anya wants a small, cute dog if possible. As they discuss what dog they should get, it shows an organization that sells bomb dogs. One of the dogs sees an image of the Forger family smiling at him. Well, Lloyd isn't smiling as much since they have given him too many missions to deal with. 
and at the same time, he has to make sure his family doesn't fall apart. Yor and Anya are just fine with Lloyd being busy with his work. Yor doesn't really know his spy work, and Anya does, well, from a kid point of view, I guess. However, the family is falling apart because the neighborhood ladies are gossiping that it's possible that Yor's husband might be having an affair, since they really haven't seen him around as of late. And Lloyd decided that he needs to fix this and rushes towards back home and tells Yor and Anya, saying they are going to an aquarium. Uh, Yor is a bit worried if that's a good idea. And he said he's fine. <laughs> I don't think he's fine anymore since he has another mission that he has to deal with. Luckily though, it's at the aquarium since that's where his family are going in the first place. But unfortunately, he's really exhausted. And he's so cute. Lloyd is relieved to at least show his neighbors that they are a good family who's going out together. And now he can focus more on the mission. <laughs> He spoke too soon, because the neighbors are also here at the aquarium. Yours suggested they can all go together to tour around the aquarium and watch some penguins. Well, Lloyd's mission shouldn't be that hard since he just has to get the capsule from a penguin. But he has to know which one has it, and there's over 200 of them. Luckily, Anya helps Lloyd on his mission as she points out a specific penguin that's not drinking water. Lloyd gets out and disguises himself as the new staff member to get close to the penguin, and he's very good at his job, and gets the one penguin to the infirmary, but really just somewhere where he can not be spotted. And some guy said he could take care of the penguin and shows his ID. Uh, yeah, no. He wants to capture him, but he has to take the capsule first before capturing the man. Anya goes after the man and holds on to his suit and she tells her mom that she has been kidnapped. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Lloyd has to come back which made the neighbors talk about Lloyd cheating on his wife, but he came back with the big stuffed animal that's a penguin. And it took him a while to retrieve the prize. <laughs> Anya knows that's a lie since it only took him one try. Lloyd decides to complain to HQ for overworking him and to request a vacation. But seeing Anya's smile reminds him that he can't do that if he wants a world without a war and where children won't cry. Well, he failed in not making a kid cry since Anya isn't happy and she even went as far as to say she hates both her parents since they were trying to protect her from not going into their room. Lloyd and Yor quickly make it up to her by playing spy with her in public and Anya's mood improved significantly after she got her peanuts. And this is how they restore the peace in the Forger household. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed this and make sure to have a wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. I'm not kidding. Love you comrades. Bye!